Okay, so I'm using um, a 10-inch human hair. This is a bob wig from Amazon. I will leave all of the description information, everything in the description box for you guys, as well as a link to purchase. So be sure to check it out. Um, but I'm going to be doing the bald cap method. I find that this is, you know, gives you a lot more seamless look when you're doing your wigs. So I'm just using a brown cap and then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the ears so that, you know, it lays nice and flat and gives me that, you know, precision that I'm looking for. Next, I'm going to go in with a got to be glue um, to lay the bald cap down. This will also help me to shape it in the way that my hairline is shaped. So I would advise that if you're a beginner, use a gel type of glue for this section or for this part of the install because then it makes it a lot more easier for you to cut. I know that some people would use the got to be spray. Um, I find that that's too much messy or too messy. So please use a gel. If you're a beginner, it makes it a lot more easier for you to see what you're doing and for you to get that hairline shape that you're looking for. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation to tint the lace because it's not so brown. I mean, at least not so brown like my skin. Um, I should have done this before putting the gel on. I'm not going to lie. So please do it before you apply your tint or your gel. And then I'm going to go ahead and just blow dry this down um, and have the glue dry down. So next step, I'm cutting off the bald cap. Now I like to cut this in three different flaps or three flaps it makes it a lot more easier for me to cut it off so if you're a beginner i would say that definitely do this so that you're not all over the place also that you you're not like cutting a crooked line because you make you want to make sure that you're cutting this bald cap nice and straight so the three flap method definitely helps a lot better and then also what i do is i slightly or gently lift the bald cap so that it goes all the way to where i have the glue or to where i have it laid so that i don't have any excess bald cap sitting down so if you see what i'm doing i gently lift see i gently literally lift it till all to the way where um all to the part where i have the glue and then i cut so that i don't have any excess sitting down so that is very important don't lift it too much because you don't want to take it off but also if you use a good glue it's not going to take it off anyway but you want to lift all the way so that you're cutting any any excess off and this is what it kind of it should look like and then also i cut the back off um what you can do is sew off the back if you want to to further secure it um, but yeah, I'm just going to apply some foundation, more foundation to tint the extreme edges. And then I'm going to go in with some alcohol prep pad or just alcohol and cotton pad if you have that to clean um, the very immediate hairline of any excess oils, the foundation, everything. Now this step is key because this will help your lace front to lay longer or to last longer. If you have oils in that area or makeup in that area, it just doesn't let the glue stay for long. And then now next step, I'm just gonna tint the lace because I didn't actually tint it with a dye so i'm just going to use some foundation to tint the lace and then put it on and then when it gets to um, cutting the lace just as i do for the bald cap i cut my lace in three flaps now the three flap method is hon uh, honey like it's the best if you're a beginner it's the best okay it makes it very easy for you to cut off your lace without actually making um, any mistakes so i cut in the center and then i cut two on each side um, i usually use my eyebrows to measure so i cut at the end of my brows and then I, i'm like yeah that's it so then next i'm gonna cut around my ear you want to um, cut around the ear, literally around the ear. And obviously, you want to be careful that you're not hitting yourself. Um, but this would give you that perfect lace shape because that excess hair um, that you have around the ear is just excess. It has to go off. So cut it off, but cut it around the ear just like I'm doing right now. So you want to hold it down, make sure that it's nice and firm, and then cut directly around the ear. That excess hair comes off. That has to come off. It literally has to come off. Um, that's how you know that you've done it right, all right? And then 
and for the glue i'm using this extreme femme hold glue from amazon i will link them below i don't know the name of the brand um but what i do is i apply partially on my lace and then partially on my skin as you guys can see the this step helps me to actually hold my bald cap down well and then also helps to secure the wig so the wig is going to be holding onto your hair and the bald i mean onto the skin and the bald cap and then now i'm just going to use um a rat tail comb or any you know flat situation that you have i would advise that you use something like an ice cream popsicle that thing um just to apply the glue now what i do is i keep working that glue till it turns clear or almost clear that is key okay you don't want it to be white you don't want it to be lumpy you want it to be totally clear like kind of like what i have right now and then i'm gonna apply a second layer now i do only two layers because if you know you know my edges are weak so i don't like to put too much pressure on them and this glue will hold so i want to make it a lot more easier for me to take it off when i'm ready to take it off so i only do two layers but if you want to have this wig on for like a week a week and over please do like three layers all right three layers should hold you perfectly fine and then i'm just going to repeat the same step um you know just working the glue in till it turns clear you want to do that and honestly i should have used my blow dryer but my daughter was sleeping so i couldn't do that i couldn't be the one to wake her up so and then now i'm just gonna go ahead and place the wig now what i do is that i position the wig all right i position the wig make sure that because once the glue holds she's she's down once this glue holds onto the wig it is down it is almost impossible to take it off so you want to make sure that you position the wig directly where you want it to be before you press it down or before you try to work it in so position 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 i can't repeat that enough like i can't say see what i'm doing i'm making sure that it is laid directly where i want it to be perfect and then now i'm gonna go ahead and use my rat tail comb um, i'm actually just using a small edge comb but you should use a rat tail comb to work it in now this step is important because it lays the hair for you literally lays the hair in the glue and then keeps the hair in that direction so use the rat tail comb to work it in just like this so i just sort of tease the hair and then drag that away and she's flat and then now i'm gonna um lay it down because i i'm gonna be running around and doing stuff around the house anyway so i'm just gonna lay it down and just leave it to sit and then now when i take it off i'm going to do something that i call my finishing so with the finishing i just go into the very ends of my lace front and then apply a tiny bit of glue just to feather lay that now what you want to do is you want to slightly lift the wig like i'm doing so that you don't have any excess glue on your actual skin because it's annoying to take off the glue when you don't have any lace in that area so lift it a tired bit and then apply the glue and then press it down again or blow dry it down again and you're going to have that nice seamless lay but right now what i'm gonna do is just straighten the hair this hair is beautiful it's nice and soft it's just so flattering okay is it's just so beautiful um so it makes work easy is what i want to say but i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten the hair just as it should be it should be done hello <laughs> Uh, and then we'll just finish off the rest of the hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and take off my band. 
and this is what we have see what we have see how nice this looks but i'm not even done the next step that i do is i use got to be free spray this step is also one step that i like to do i find that it makes it nice in the front so i just spray some of that and then i use my comb to tease the hairs away another thing is this hair has a lot of flyaways okay let me just say that if you're gonna get it it has a lot of flyaways so i had to do so much taming with the hair to get it to lay like flat so that the flyaways were because it was just a bother it was such a bother so the got to be holding spray also definitely helps with that so i'm just gonna tease it like i did in the beginning on the other side um and then this will give you that you know pulled back nice seamless a nice frontal hello <laughs> i love doing my hair i love doing anything beauty it just makes me happy um, and then doing a tutorial on that hello i love it now next step i'm just gonna go in with some foundation to further tint the lace in the front so that you know she looks like me and not white so also i like to use a much darker foundation i feel like that is the best and then in the center i use a little bit of a lighter foundation um because i want that area to pop so on the edges i would use regular degular dark foundation and then in the center i would use a little bit of a lighter foundation and then i'm just using a wax stick to further tame it because i told you guys the flyaways is just too much and this is what the hair is looking like it is so cute i told you guys i love the install it kind of looks like my hair i'm not gonna lie i called my sister on the phone and she's like it looks so natural how did you do it i'm like that's a video go watch on youtube oh my god but this is the full thing i hope you guys like it ask any questions below um all the description will be down below i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye